Hey friends, it's Cherie, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a little indie stitch unboxing as well as sharing with you all the things that I sewed this week and some things that I picked up. But first, if you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're a returning person, thank you so much for your continued support. All right, let's get into it. Let's start by opening up my indie stitch subscription box. Now, first of all, I'm not gonna lie to you, I already opened this box. I was so excited, I couldn't wait, and I didn't have time to film, but I did open my box. It's great, okay? Now, if you're not familiar with Indie Stitch, Indie Stitch is a monthly sewing subscription service where you receive a sewing project every month, and in the box you have all the sewing notions that you need in order to complete the project, as well as some additional sewing goodies. This is what the box looks like. Let's open it up. On top, you'll always have an information card, which looks just like this, and it has all the instructions on how to access a PDF version of the pattern, as well as the instructions for the pattern. And it also has a QR code that will take you directly to a detailed sew along provided by Andy Stitch. On the back of the card, it lists all the items that are included in the box. Let's look at the pattern, which I love. It is a Styla pattern called Juna. If I'm saying that incorrectly, I'll put the name on the screen, please forgive me. It is a beautiful button-up blouse that has either a short sleeve or a long sleeve option. It has a curved hem. It's gorgeous and it's definitely a pattern for woven fabrics. And this month we got to choose between nine different fabrics. So every month you receive an email that has a link and you click on it and it'll take you directly to where you select your fabric choice. And there is an informational video created by Amber, the owner of Indie Stitch. And she basically walks you through all the different fabric types. She gives you information about the fabric, what it feels like. She plays with it so you can see how it drapes such a great way to teach people about fabric choices and because of that video i went out on a limb and tried a new fabric okay and i'm very happy about what i received i actually received a wool dobby and in previous years if i heard the name wool i definitely was not touching it was not selecting it was not ordering it okay because i'm highly allergic to wool but by watching her video i learned that wool dobby is not wool fabric it's actually 100 percent polyester so i'm really excited to sew up this button up in the fabric that i selected it is gorgeous okay it's gonna fall into my fall capsule wardrobe color scheme it's absolutely amazing so i'm really excited about that the fabric is here and this is my gorgeous fabric so pretty and as you can see it's kind of like an orange brown it's not too too different from the color of my skin really pretty if you look close you can see that the shapes in the fabric are actually a denim color so it will match really nicely with most of the bottoms that i plan to sew up in my capsule for fall and if you haven't seen my previous videos where i share with you my inspiration as well as my sewing plans definitely check those videos out but this is definitely going to fall in really nicely with all of the bottoms that i plan to sew so i'm happy about this fabric it's so soft it's so drapey it's it's perfect i love it so the fabric came in a bag that told me exactly what the fabric is and how to care for it which is another educational piece that i love having with indie stitch is knowing how to care for the fabric that i received so that was really nice now the pattern itself is a very thick instruction booklet and there's a reason why with style of patterns you have some large instruction in pictures okay this is actually pictures of someone sewing the garment okay step by step so there's no confusion as to what your project should look like at each step with illustrations, sometimes it's a little hard to kind of figure out what you're looking at, but when you're looking at a picture of someone else's garment step-by-step, -step, it definitely makes it a little easier to understand what you're looking at. I love the detail that they've gone into in describing how to create this pattern, and it's going to be an enjoyable sew, I can already tell. So I'm really impressed with the instruction booklet that came with the pattern. All right, so let me share with you what the actual pattern looks like. It looks just like this and if you've ever seen my unboxings before you know that I prefer a pattern that has the sizes in different colors so not only does it have a different line or dash for each of the size 
but each size is a different color, which is fantastic. It makes it so much easier to trace off your size, but it also makes it easier to prevent making mistakes where you start cutting one size and accidentally start cutting a, a different size. So I love that that is like that. Now, patterns that I have received from Indie Stitch are always printed on really beautiful, sturdy paper. So it's going to last and be durable, and I love that. So that's the pattern. The next thing in the box is interfacing. And this is what it looks like. This is more interfacing than I'll need for this project, which I definitely appreciate. I love the interfacing that I've received in Indie Stitch. It is very soft and light, and it's not super stiff. And it just works really nicely with garments as I sew it. Sometimes I buy my interfacing in bulk and it's not always the softest fabric and so, or interfacing. So when I do my projects, the pieces can be a bit stiff, but with it, the interfacing that Indie Stitch uses, I have had zero problems with that. And I just really love it and it's a lot. So I'm really happy this is in the box. Additionally, there are some clear buttons that are going to be perfect on my blouse. And then I have the thread, which is a gorgeous brown shade, which is very, very similar to the fabric shade. So it blends right in when you lay the thread on top. There is a little red envelope that has two sewing needles and the sewing needles are a 7511 universal flat shank. There are two air water soluble markers, which friends, my favorite, okay? Really nice that we get two of them. I prefer these over the heat erasable ones because the heat erasable ones leave white lines on your dark fabrics. So I have definitely switched to air and water removable pins and they have saved my project. So I'm so glad there's two of them. That's really great. And lastly in the box, there is a sewing project planner. And I love this because I'm a planner. I have several different types of planners that I use all the time and definitely lots of worksheets that I use for my sewing projects. But the setup of this is very similar to something that I loved in the past and used up. This sewing project planner has a spot for your pattern name, the designer, the size, project details, to-do list, final notes, supply list that you need, what you have, what you need, fabric. You can put a swatch or just describe what type of fabric you need to pick up. One of the things I love about this is at the bottom, you can rate the pattern or the project, and then you can basically mark whether or not you'd like to make it again in the past. So if you want to document your projects that you've completed and keep track of if you liked something or didn't like something this is a really great way to do it so that's everything that was in the box i love it all and i'm really excited to sew up that blouse for this fall let's get into the things that i made this week now a couple of the things are items that i shared that i wanted to make in my sewing ketchup video so i'm really proud of myself to be able to check some things off that list a lot of times i have all the plans but i don't have all the time to sew up the projects and then one of the items was a surprise little something that i made last minute i didn't know i was going to make it and i'm really glad that i did because it's great the first thing that i made is the ray belt bag and this is a bag that i made for my son it is a fanny pack and he loves it spoiler alert i was actually going to show you the bag in this video but he's wearing it he went on a bike ride with his dad so i can't confiscate it and show it to you but i made it last sunday and he's worn it every single day to school and on the weekend when we left the house so I would say that's a success and my son loves to sew with me and so this was a more complicated project so he wasn't able to do all the sewing but he did do all the prep work which was great for mama because it's really hard for me to sit down and get the prep work done it's the, the part that i'm the least excited about when entering a project so um that was really nice so i'll insert pictures of him doing his prep work he basically took all the pattern pieces and he cut out the fabric in the main fabric as well as the lining fabric he ironed all the pieces attached interfacing to the pieces he did all the base stitching i was so proud of him he's very patient and he loves working on projects so I'm very proud of the things that he did to contribute and then mama took over and sewed it up so that it was ready for him the next morning for school. So really great team effort. The Seamwork belt bag is, it's called the Ray belt bag, sorry. It's a really great pattern actually. I hadn't had much experience with sewing 
bags outside of tote bags. I've made a ton of tote bags, but never anything with a zipper or never anything that had webbing or buckles, right? No, actually I have used webbing before, correction. <laughs> but I hadn't attached buckles to anything. So I was excited to take on this project and it was so good. The instructions are always really nice with Seamwork and as usual, they have those large illustrations to walk you through each of the steps in the pattern. So I love that. I'm obsessed with Seamwork. I sold a lot of their patterns I have for years, but now I'm an affiliate with, with um, Seamwork. So if you're interested in checking them out, do check out the link below. It is an affiliate link. If you buy anything using that link, I do get a small commission. But if you're interested in Seamwork bags in particular, I'm gonna tell you what, this was a really good project for me. I wouldn't say it's necessarily a beginner project in my opinion but it was pretty easy since i do have some base knowledge of sewing they have a catalog of different bags that they offer on their website through the subscription so you can make backpacks you can make tote bags you can make reusable bags you can make all kinds of different things when i say reusable i mean like grocery bags um they have so many different bag patterns on their pay on their website so i highly recommend that you use my link to check it out also I love all the garments, you already know that, but I like this so much that I plan to make one for myself. Actually, probably more than one, let's be real. And the first one that I plan to make for myself is actually also going to be out of camo, but it's slightly different from my son's. My son's was made out of a canvas fabric that I received as a gift from LA Finch Fabric. And it is a very sturdy, nice, fabric which is perfect for a little boy who's going to be rough and tough with his things and he played in this belt bag he wore it on bike rides he wore it all day at school and there are no issues with it at all because it is a very sturdy fabric and so i definitely am happy about choosing that fabric for him now for myself i also want a camel version but i'm going to use a denim hold that thought the denim fabric that i plan to use is what's left over from a pair of pants that i've already cut out of this fabric it is a gorgeous camo denim that I purchased from Joanne Fabric. It is a little thinner, so I definitely have to interface it with a thicker bag interfacing. But I think this will be a really nice belt bag that can pair really nicely with all the things that I plan to sew and wear for fall. So that was a success. I highly recommend that pattern and I will be making another one. The next thing that I made, I'm also obsessed with, but almost in a scary sense because now I feel like I need 20 of them ridiculous i know but i'm like that this is the blackbird fabric bestie bag now the blackbird fabric bestie bag is fantastic it's a really easy project to put together it's so impressive how it all comes together like when you're finished you just look at it and you're like wow i made that i made that bag mine came out so good in my opinion that it looks like ready to wear there's nothing about this bag that makes me look at it and think oh she must have made that at home so this is my version it is the large version as you can see it's it, it's it's girthy it's got a lot it has this really gorgeous gorgeous uh strap and it has a slider buckle i don't know if you can see it really really nice bag and i'll show you what it looks like on my mannequin so you can see how big it is in comparison to a body really large okay holds a lot of stuff and i used a wonderful corduroy fabric that i had left over from a pinafore dress that i made a couple years ago so i'm really happy about that i had black webbing so i went with a black zipper and i think that that was a really nice choice this bag is going to fall right into my fall capsule wardrobe really nicely. The color is just going to be great. I'm, If you haven't seen those videos that I shared before, I'm definitely leaning towards earthy colors, earthy tones. And so this is definitely one that's going to pair nicely with everything. It's got a really neutral, caramely, tan color. So it's gonna be perfect. I'm happy with the outcome of this bag. I think it's fantastic. The instructions were really easy to follow and I think that there was only one thing that tripped me up but it had nothing to do with the actual pattern itself. It was more to do with me sewing tired. When I sewed my bag, I totally skipped over the portion of the instructions where it said to leave an opening in the lining so that I could turn the bag right side out. So I have now on one side the lining and on the other side the main fabric and they were wrong sides out. And I'm like, how in the world do I turn it right side out? There was no hole to do so. <laughs> 
So it was a silly mistake, but once I realized what I had done wrong, it was easy to fix. I just had to open up the seam in the lining and turn it right side out and then stitch it back up closed. So it worked out really nicely. The version that I made, I chose to do three large pockets on the inside. However, I think I might consider adding a zipper pocket on the inside for my next version or the version after that, because like I said, I need to have this in all the colors. But I definitely think that this is an easier to follow pattern and I highly encourage that you check it out. So I loved it so much that I've already cut out another version, but this time I have decided that I want to make the medium size because I think that I'd like the option to be able to carry a little less with me. Um, it also lays on the, the body a little bit better. It's not going to take up so much of my body or be as awkward um, when it's full. So I definitely went for the medium for my next version. This is a beautiful dead stock denim fabric that I actually got from my friend Ella of Handmade Millennial. She hosted a fabric swap that I went to and she had some really wonderful denim to share with everyone. So it's designer dead stock. Really beautiful structured gray denim and it's already been interfaced. It's ready to go. All the things are ready. So that's my next project and hopefully I can sew it today. I'll be honest, I'm a little tired so it might not happen today, but this is the next project for me. Okay, so now the last thing that I sewed this week that was a total surprise was the Friday Pattern Company Bernie belt bag. Uh, guys, I did not know that this was gonna drop now there's a skirt pattern for this it's the i think it's called the bernie skirt and when i saw the skirt pattern i thought oh that's really cute but i really just want the belt with the purse and it's funny i was talking to my friend talisha and she said that she saw someone else comment that as well but this was such a genius idea and i really didn't need the skirt pattern because i have tons of skirt patterns so i didn't pick up that pattern well they released the belt bag separate so you can download the belt bag without having to purchase the skirt and i think that's wonderful this is definitely a quick sew okay you don't need a lot of fabric at all i mean this is the instructions here guys it's not a lot of instructions you'll be done with it in a flash okay it's actually one of those meticulous like therapeutic type project so i'm really pleased about putting it together and also this is now my third non-tote bag that i made in one week i'm just really challenging myself and i love that for me okay i love this so much now the fabric i use is actually a pair of size 8 children's jeans that i saved from one of my son's you know growth spurts because I thought I might do some type of project in the future, only I didn't have a project to do yet. And so I just kind of held on to it just in case. So I actually used the legs of those jeans to create this belt bag. So it definitely doesn't take a lot of fabric to make this. And I, while I do love the way this came out, I have decided that my next version, I will actually make it two inches bigger all the way around. And the reason why is, or actually maybe just an inch on the bottom and an inch on each side so three inches around the reason why is because my iphone doesn't fit in here and i'd love to be able to slip my iphone in this the fabric that i chose for this belt bag actually is the same color of a lot of the different denims that i have in my closet as well as the same as my new cargo jeans that i got from target and my new boiler suit that i got from target same exact color denim so what i did is i found a top stitching thread in my stash that was the same color as those things so that i could pair this with those other items so i am fall ready friends i don't have to carry a purse if i don't want to okay i could just put on this belt bag and one thing about this is it has these great little belt loop belt loops here that you can attach this little purse to any number of belts that you already own in your stash so if you wanted you could just make the bag and not the belt which is genius so this button is a denim button and i'll open it up so you can see there is a gorgeous pocket here that you can slip things in and then um obviously there is a zipper top and I have used some leftover gingham fabric from a dress that I made as the lining. So it is such a cute little bag. I love it so much. Again, it's gonna be one of those projects that I need one in every single fabric that I have. <laughs> At least one in every bottom weight 
fabric that I have. So if I make a pair of pants, I must have a belt bag. If I make a jumpsuit out of denim, I must have a matching belt bag, right? I mean, cause it's gonna hold my pants up and also hold my money and my phone. It's a no brainer. So I love it. <laughs> I love the way it came out and I definitely plan to make more of these. This is such a great pattern. So if you haven't checked this out yet, I believe it's only like $6 definitely head over to Friday Pattern Company and get this and download it right away. The patterns themselves, when you print it, it's five pieces of paper. That's it. The instructions, if you double side them, I think that's also five pages. So you're talking about 10 pages for a really great belt bag. I love it. And again, it does not look like something that I made. It looks like something I purchased. So I'm really pleased with myself. And now that I make bags, I, there's no turning back. I'm gonna make all the bags, I think. <laughs> all right, let me share with you some things that I picked up. The first thing that I picked up is actually a pant pattern. And I know I shared with you in my sewing plans all the pants that I plan to make for fall. But I did not see this pattern and see that it was an, on Amazon. And so when I saw it, I was like, okay, I have to have it. It has to go down. Vicky Sews posted on Instagram asking people what patterns they'd like to have available printed on Amazon and allowed people to kind of like make comments because most of their patterns are PDF patterns that you download from their website. So they shared this one in that post and I was like, that must be mine because it's exactly what I've been looking for as far as my fall pants. And while I do have some patterns that I've already selected for my plans, this also falls into my ideas. So I either might replace the Vogue pants that I plan to make with these, or I just make an additional pair of pants. So I'm really excited about this. This is the trouser mm, Daphna. I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly. I'll put the name on the screen. And the size range for this is a US 6 to a US 20, which is really great. The one thing that I don't love about the printed Vicky Sews patterns is that the instructions are still PDF. So you still have to go on their website for instructions and there is a QR code at the top of the patterns. So the only thing that's in here is the pattern pieces. The instructions you still have to go on their website to access. The reason why I don't love that is because I like to watch Netflix and all the other, you know, <laughs> apps on my iPad while I'm sewing and obviously if I'm using my iPad to follow along with the instructions on my iPad I can't watch my shows at the same time so it's okay it's gonna force me to focus okay it's gonna force me to not be distracted I might have to do an audiobook or something from my phone while my iPad is giving me instructions for my sewing project but I won't have to tape together my pattern pieces and that friends is amazing to me. This pattern was I believe $11 on Amazon which I think is a really great deal. So let's talk about the next thing I picked up. My husband never asked me to sew him anything ever and he's still waiting on his jogger suit. I'm not gonna lie to you. I said months ago I was gonna do it and I still hadn't done it, okay? It's cut, it's just not sewed. So that's gotta happen friends. I gotta stop pushing it off to the side, it has to happen. Now our anniversary is coming up next month and he, even though he never asked me to make anything, he came back from a trip and he found this jacket in a magazine that he read on the airplane and he asked me to make him one. How could I say no? He never asked me to make him anything. How can I say no? And it's actually something that I've done before. It's a shacket. So um, the one in the picture is a quilted shacket and I actually have made one before. So I'm excited to sew this up for him. I'm not quilting my own fabric and I actually found some different options and presented them to him and he was like, no, no, no. And then when I showed him this quilt that I got from Target, he was like, yes. So <laughs> I'm going to be making him a shacket out of a quilt that I purchased and I'm really excited about it. He's going to look so handsome in his shacket. So that's one thing I picked up. Now you know I can't pick up something for daddy and not get something for mommy okay so um i got myself this fabric from joanne and i think i might make one of the new nomi patterns that's about to be released i did not see it at joanne so i haven't been able to pick it up but this quilted fabric i purchased from joanne online it was on sale 
and I want to say I played about eight dollars a yard for this and there's six yards here I'll probably make a jacket as well as some joggers I'm not sure we'll see how it goes or maybe I'll make a jacket for myself and something for someone else but it's a beautiful beautiful quilt it has some nice shapes on it and really beautiful florals so gorgeous I think it will look nicely with all of my clothes so I love it. Yes, Handmade Millennial has a new jacket pattern. And who else does? I can't remember. But there is a couple of different coat patterns that actually are being released with No Me for Fall. And so I think that fabric is going to be perfect for it. So those are all the things that I picked up. This is what I've been busy with. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe to my channel. Make sure you return to my channel so that you can see some of my completed fall garments now that I have all these lovely fall accessories, okay? So that you can see how I'm pairing them all together. And I just thank you so much for your time and I hope you have a fantastic day, a wonderful week, and a great start to your fall. Talk to you soon. Bye.